Welcome to Pub Travels. Today we're gonna to do a uh, berry vinaigrette, which I guess we should have planned ahead and didn't even know what we're gonna put over it. We got some iceberg, maybe some romaine or something like that. We'll figure out what we got in the fridge. But anyway, uh, the most important part is like making something so that you can preserve it. You don't have to throw, throw it in the garbage one year. Uh, you don't wanna waste good berries, okay? Uh, we've got a really old school, if you can see this, how yellow this is. I got this at uh, a Goodwill for $6.99 and it is still a workhorse. Nice, small, compact, uh, super heavy motor. Uh, th this is a really, really great uh, food processor. So I definitely recommend, you know, scoping out your goodwills your you know uh salvation armies whatnot those types of things anytime you you can get a second hand something for a decent price so super basic vinaigrette using some fresh berries blackberries blueberries raspberries we're actually use this cool little second hand food processor and put all the berries right in there we've got about a pint if you want to measure it out, 16 ounces. So you take your food processor, any kind of food processor is going to work. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on, buzz up our berries. So it's about 10 seconds or so. Pretty buzzed up. Also secondhand, I actually found this. This is a very nice, cool little food mill. Facebook Marketplace. We're going to go ahead and just drop in our berry mix. The reason I'm doing this is I'm gonna take out the, the seeds. You can't actually leave the seeds in, they get stuck in your teeth. This is not a critical part of it, but this is a little bit more of a refined part of it where we're gonna take the seeds out. So not a big deal here, but I'll show, show you how to use a food mill. So this thing works pretty cool. You Push it through, and if you can see it already coming through the bottom. All right, so as you get down closer, you can kind of see where we got quite a bit of our extract, if you will. But we're gonna leave behind the seeds. And I think bet between blackberries and raspberries, that's the most important thing. They are delicious, absolutely delicious berries, but uh, the seeds can be a little bit cumbersome if you will. And just keep pushing through the juice. And I scrape it back the other way a little bit. And that kind of clears if you can see if you can see this or not. But if you go backwards a little bit, it kind of scrapes back everything that's inside so you get a little bit of a better push through of the way this thing works. And when you're working with a food mill like this, uh, you just need to kind of scrape down. There's a little bit of work to you want to get as much product through as possible. You don't want to have any waste. All right, so we take our spatula. And scrape down the backside. All right, so what we're left with is almost kind of a cool little not necessarily pureed, but right, we're going to throw in a little bit of salt. Always want to season everything. Basic vinaigrette is one part acid. We have some apple cider vinegar and three parts oil. And we're going to use an avocado oil. Um, you can use a vegetable oil, any kind of oil. I like using neutral oils. Even a grapeseed oil would be very nice to not affect the flavor. If you want to add flavor, 
Olive oils work very nicely. Always look for a first cold press olive oil. So we're gonna go ahead and measure out. I'm gonna use one cup. Now don't forget there's gonna be a little bit of acid in the fruit as well, in these berries. Not enough to make a vinaigrette. Mostly your vinaigrette uh, or the berries are all about the flavor. So no big deal. It might be a little bit of a looser vinaigrette, but I'm gonna go one cup of our berry blend. Blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Our apple cider vinegar. Remember, a basic vinaigrette is one part acid, three parts oil. Our apple cider vinegar is our acid. I like to hit it with a nice pinch of kosher salt in the beginning. That's a nice chef's pinch. We're gonna go from there. And fortunately, we have a nice variable speed blender. If you don't, start on low and kind of work your way up just a little bit so you can kind of see things moving. You don't want to just dump the oil in. You want to, you want the oil to emulsify, emulsify with the acid. Uh, if you really want to make this a, a true vinaigrette, you can add some uh, Dijon mustard or regular mustard, any just a, a small bit, maybe for, for this amount, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon at the most, but that'll help keep the oils and the acids together. It emulsifies them. That's an, it, called an, an emulsification. Just bring it up to a nice little buzz. And start adding our oils. Nice, slow drizzle. And you can almost hear the difference. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the, uh, off my microphone here, but you can hear the difference in the texture. From as where we were, it was kind of sloshing around when we first started. And really, that's it. We're gonna check it for salt. It's a little bit nice and kind of a loose, would really be nice in a, a tossed salad or something like that. You can even use something like this, even on a steak, believe it or not. Just a nice little kind of finishing sauce. It'd be really, really nice. Uh, we could have uh, tightened it up a little bit, again, with the Dijon mustard or a brown mustard, any, any kind of mustard. But I mean, that's it. That's your nice little vinaigrette. This is a nice little sauce. Let's see if we had to add, if we have to add any. Really nice. Fresh berries, really nice on a salad. I'm gonna go with just a pinch more salt. Nothing too crazy, just a nice healthy chef's pinch. Not going too crazy on the speed. This is probably about a third of the way up. You don't need to go any faster. You're just bringing everything together. So again, we're just checking for salt. Really nice. That's a great spot. And I will put this into a container. And we're going to use this on our next few dinners for this next week. Let's see what we got here. All right. So we have a berry vinaigrette. You probably bought berries to make smoothies, breakfasty things, but you can add a really beautiful berry vinaigrette to just about anything over Brussels sprouts, cauliflower. So for that amount of berries and the amount of oil and vinegar to keep this emulsified, if you will. Now it will separate when you put it in your fridge because we did not use the Dijon mustard or a little bit of mustard, uh, any kind of mustard uh, to uh, tighten it up, to hold it all together doesn't really matter. You can just mix it up, your little oil and vinegar base type of salad dressing. 
Super similar, but you've got a really nice berry blend here. Really good way to stretch out fruits, vegetables, things are starting to go bad. Give them another purpose. There you go. You've got a berry vinaigrette. Thank you for watching. Love Travels. See you next time.